Hello, I'm Kelly Dennis. I'm a licensed professional counselor, and I work with people who struggle with eating disorders, disordered eating, depression, anxiety, and I do some couples counseling as well. And I created this YouTube channel just to give people tips, tools, and techniques to learn to manage their life better and to just feel better all around. And so today I wanted to talk with you a little about anxiety. Anxiety is a perfectly normal emotion. We all have it to some degree, and it's, it's very adaptable. Um, early on, our ancestors needed it in order to stay, to stay safe. They needed to be able to recognize um, danger and negativity and in order to take care of themselves and their families. And so the fight or flight or freeze response uh, was very useful and adaptive. But now in our modern day, uh, most of us really don't need to be constantly on the lookout for danger. Um, actually, it's kind of bad for us when we have our fight or flight response kicked in. All those chemicals are rushing through our bodies to mobilize us for action, and it's not really good for our bodies and our minds to be washed in those chemicals on a regular basis. And that's what happens a lot of times for people who have anxiety disorders, is that it's not the usual anxiety caused by having to make a, a difficult decision or to take a test. It's actually anxiety that is on high alert all of the time. And so one of the things that happens with people who have anxiety disorders is that their thinking patterns become stuck. They're either caught in excessive rumination about the past, and they can't quite seem to disengage from that. Why did I do that? What will happen now that I did that? Or they're stuck in worrying about the future or some future or some sort of an event that's going to happen. And so basically, we wanna be able to learn how to disengage from both of those styles of thinking and to stay in a style of thinking that is more helpful, one that is um, grounded in the present moment and one that notices when you've gone off on the what ifs um, and to kind of bring yourself back. So cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness, and meditation are three tools that are really good at being able to help us uh, to kind of step back from the anxiety. And if you practice these things on a regular basis, you'll get really good at being able to recognize when you are ruminating or worrying and having the thoughts, and when you need to come back to your present moment and pay attention to what's going on around you now. So I'd like to take you through a little mindfulness meditation um, that's also got a little bit of a cognitive therapy bent and uh, see if you might find it interesting to help if you do struggle with anxiety. So go ahead and get into a comfortable position now. You can be um, sitting up or lying down. And go ahead and close your eyes. And then begin by taking a nice deep breath in and letting it out. And then taking another deep breath in and letting it out. And just noticing as you breathe comfortably and easily right now, the quality of your breath. What's it like to breathe? Maybe allowing yourself to release any tension or tightness on the exhale. Settling in to the rhythm of your breathing. Noticing the rise and the fall of your body. Or the air as it enters and exits your nose. And your mind will most likely wander while you're doing this. That's okay. Just notice where it went and gently bring it back. And as you're noticing your breathing, also notice your body and how your body feels. Sometimes when we're struggling with anxiety, we don't notice all of that built up tension until we slow down. We notice just how tight and tense our body is. And so as you breathe, 
just allowing each little part of your body to get as comfortable as it wants to get. Facial muscles, neck and shoulders, back and chest, belly and lower back, abdomen and hips, down into the large muscles of your buttocks and your thighs, into your knees, your calves and your shins, all the way down to your feet and your toes. And noticing your arms as they rest gently somewhere against your body. And just allow your body this moment of comfort as best you can. And now bring to mind something that might have been causing you some anxiety in the past that you ruminate about, or something that you're worried about in the future that's causing you anxiety. Bring it to your mind. And then notice What's floating around in your mind? What sorts of thoughts are associated with this particular situation causing you anxiety? If it's something about the future, it might be what ifs. What if I get up to do the presentation and I stumble and fall and people laugh at me? Or what if I go blank on a test and I can't remember anything? So usually when we're worried, or worried about those what ifs. If we're ruminating about the past, sometimes we're trying to replay things in an effort to change the outcome, when in reality we can't do that. So just notice those thoughts. And now just imagine that your mind is like the bright blue sky and that each of those thoughts is sitting upon a fluffy white cloud and just watch them drift across the bright blue sky of your mind without grabbing them off the cloud allowing them to stay on the cloud until they disappear from your mind one thought for every cloud, allowing them to drift by without really getting attached, without taking them down and thinking about them, but getting some distance. You don't have to grab a hold of the what ifs. Most of them won't happen anyway. You don't have to replay that situation from the past. You can't change it. Allow those thoughts to drift by. And now, bring your awareness to this present moment right now. Notice all the sounds you're hearing. Notice any of the smells you're smelling. And notice your skin and what you feel against your skin. Your glasses resting on your face, your rings on your fingers, your clothing as it touches your body. Maybe the gentle movement of air across your face. And then returning your attention once again to your breathing, noticing the rhythm, the rise 
and the fall. The in and the out. And now taking a nice deep breath in and letting it out. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and you can open your eyes whenever you are ready. I hope you enjoyed today's mindful meditation. Practicing this on a regular basis can help you get distance from thoughts. And then when you're in those anxious moments, your brain will know what to do and know how to let go. Be well and have a wonderful day.